With the release of version 15 of PLS CAD, you can now produce a lightning protection coverage surface based on the electrogeometric model or the rolling sphere method based on the ground surface and ground wires in your PLS CAD model. It will also report any length of phase wires that do not fall under the protection coverage of the ground wires. To start with, a model must have a valid surface 10 ground model. You can then go to the Sections, Electric, Lightning Protection Calculator where you can pick the range of structures you are wishing to evaluate. For this example, we will just select a portion of the structures from Structure 9 to 14. Then the Rolling Sphere Input Data dialog box appears where you can select the weather case and cable condition for the wires you wish to have evaluated in the model. The table portion of the dialog contains each set and phase span in the range of structures selected and you can choose whether to include them in your calculations or whether they should be considered a ground wire. By default, all spans are included in the structure range selected and any wire with a zero voltage is considered a ground wire. You can then input the user-defined lightning strike distance, which is the radius of the sphere you are considering for coverage, which defaults to a value of 60 meters. And you can also in enter the interval along the span you wish to consider. The smaller the interval, the longer the processing can take. For this example, we will leave it at the default values. You also have the choice to drop markers when creating the lightning protection surface that shows the location of the spheres that were considered by checking the button at the bottom of the dialog on. Next, you will hit Calculate, which will begin defining the protection coverage surface for the selected structure range, and once complete, a new 3D view will appear and you will have the option to render the lightning surface 10. For this example, I will choose to render triangles and color by elevation. I will leave the opacity as opaque so we can quickly identify wires that are not covered by the surface. I will also render the ground tin in this example using the terrain, tin, display options. And as you see, it will also bring up the lightning surface tin for display again should you wish to change anything on its display. After rendering these views, you can go to the Report view, where it will give you the total exposed length of the phase conductors in the model based on the parameters you input. For this, let's look at the span that has a back structure of 11, which says the distance to the start of exposure is 801 feet, and the length exposed is 26 feet. If we review our rendered model, we can see near structure number 12, there is some exposed phase conductor on the right side of the structure. As you can see, the new lightning protection coverage feature can be very useful in identifying problem areas for your lines. If you would like to learn more information about our software, you can see our website at www.palwine.com. If you would like some information about our software, you can contact us directly at info at palwine.com. And finally, if you would like to purchase our software, you can contact our sales team directly at sales at palwine.com. We look forward to hearing from you soon.